guys, and CWQ here, and we're going to look at the earthquakes that have occurred since last night, midnight. And we'll start off with the fact that there was a 4.2 in Indonesia, and it was 173 kilometers deep. So we'll look it up on Google Earth, see where this is located. We're only looking at big ones or ones that look rare. This one is over here near a volcanic arc. We can see Tian here and Nile here and Tapa here. This is actually Bor Babar Island. And Lewa is here. Take a good look at this island here. Hang on. So this is the island here. It looks we have a village down here. I like the formation here of the sides of the rocks, the cliffs. Moving on to our next one. We come to a 4.3, 216 kilometers deep, Hindu Kush region, Afghanistan. Now I'm not sure we're going to be able to see much from this one because usually they don't have the greatest uh, views when it comes down to satellite. You can see this is the region here, but the satellite area is not the greatest. Let me figure out what we have there. There do appear to be towns around this area here as well. Moving on to our next one. We have a 4.1 southern Iran. It was 10 kilometers in depth. Oops. I think I didn't get that on the right side. There we go. This is a rocky area. Let me do this real quick. Try to give a vet better view of this area. You can see that it is a rocky area here. And we move on to our next one. The next one was a 4.5 in Mar Morocco. It was 10 kilometers deep.
And this one was Offland. So we can see that we do have the town here. And the earthquake occurred offland over here. Next earthquake. Was a 4.4 Fiji Islands, 483 kilometers deep. Let's see the island here. This island has towns on it. We can see that it was occurring here, which is in between the divergent and that should be the convergent. Uh, transform. You have Tonga over here. Fiji is here. Now we move on to our next one. Four point oh, I'm not going to go up to four point oh, but it was 154 kilometers deep. And that was Veracruz, Mexico. Then we have the 4.2, which was a five kilometers deep off of Herrera, Mexico. We're going to check that one out. This one is also offland, and you can see that we have the towns over here, and here, and here. And this is where the earthquake was occurring, which was offshore. Sorry, you guys, I have a throat issue today, so my throat is a bit scratchy. We have a 4.9 which occurred 79 kilometers deep Peru Ecuador border region. Looks like we have roads down in here as well, or might be rivers, but I think those are roads, more than likely, that looks like a road to me. Can't really tell very well, I know this for sure is a road, so it's probably roads coming off about these roads, which it does look like. And there is a town here, and then there's buildings here. And then this looks like water over here. And we move on to the next one. Which is a 4.6 Kuril Islands. We also had a 4.3 Andaman Islands, India. So let's go look at the 4.3. We had quite a few fours today. The 
which in my estimate means next week will creep back up to fives and sixes. So this one is off land. You can see that there is quite a bit of underwater volcanoes here, or seamounts. You can see Barren Island is here. Barren Island is a stratovolcano. You can see a good picture of it. Then you can see Narcondom is over here. Narcondom is a stratovolcano as well, and it rises above water. And this is the Andaman Sea here. Moving on to our next one. And I think I got lost, hang on. Okay, there we go. Kuril Islands, 4.688 kilometers deep. And this one is out away from everything. This is a convergent line here. We can see we have the volcanic here. Quite a bit. This is blue. Yeah, Russia is over here. Moving on to our next one. Kenai Peninsula, Alaska, 4.7, 30 kilometers in depth. to a view here. This is our view. So we can see that this is a very, very hilly area. And these are nice drop-offs to the ocean. The earthquake was occurring here. So I'm wondering how much rock slide there was. And we move on to the next one. That was a 4.7, 38 kilometers deep. Then we had another 4.2 in Indonesia and a 4.0 in Chile. We had a 1.9 in Spain. We had a 2.8 Chile. 3.5 Southern around. Vancouver Island, Canada region had an earthquake. It was 2.7 and 10 kilometers deep, and we'll go take a peek at it. If y'all are wondering, my microphone is having issues, so I hope that it's coming in nice and clear. Okay, this is off of Canada. I like this X right here. I don't know if anybody's ever seen this before, but there's an X right here. Okay. 
So this is off a of camera. That's the convergent, divergent, and transform lines all right here. Now, I'm going to show you this in a minute. You'll see what happened yesterday and the day before. Okay, so I'm going to skip over to the interactive map for the United States and Oregon, and I'm going to show y'all these. This one occurred on December 11th. It was off the coast of Oregon, and it was a 4.0. So this one was off of Oregon. Then the day before, or actually two days ago, nine, let me see, 12. 11, 10, 9. Four days ago, there was a 4.9 off of California. So there was the 4 here yesterday and the 4.9 on the 9th. And then, whoops, let me go back. There was also a smaller quake, which was a 0 0.58 on the 9th as well, a 0 0.5 which occurred the same day. Now let me see if this one was before that one. This one was later than this one. This one occurred first, then that one. And on the night there was a 1.7 in Oregon. And this one is Washington. That was a 2.4 on the 11th, which was yesterday in Washington. This was the 2.4 in Canada. This was a 1.3 on the 9th in Canada. Actually, it looks like Washington State to me, but it says East Northeast of Canada. Then on the 11th, there was a 2.4 in Puget Sound region of Washington. On the 11th, there was a 1.8 in Kanab, Utah. On the 10th, there was a 1.7 in Utah. There was a 1.6 on the 11th in Utah. And on the 9th, there was a 1.3 in Utah. And I'm looking for any earthquakes that have occurred on the East Coast, and I don't see any. Yellowstone today has had a 0 0.4, a, a 1.3 yesterday, a 0 0.6 on the 10th, a 0 0.8 on the 10th. Let me see, there's two there, but I don't think I can get the other one. 0 0.8 on the 10th. And yesterday, a 0 0.7. And a 0 0.4 on the 11th yesterday. And today is 0 0.4, Montana. Anyways, you guys, quick little update for earthquakes. Hope y'all are doing well. Um, please be blessed and be a blessing to each other. I'm still just looking around at these other quakes here that occurred yesterday.
Sorry, I've been busy. I started a new channel. Those who are on Facebook will know the new channel that I started. That one occurred today at 2.5. All right, you guys. Much love. Take good care of yourselves and each other. See below the links for groups on my Facebook. Um, for different Facebook groups that you can follow to get more information, news, weather, and much more from other people that are on the groups. Anyways, you guys, love y'all and take care.